Devil Jambalaya. Soothes my soul. So you're from New Orleans? Yes, I am. Okay, and you, you cook jambalaya? Yeah. How do you make it? With the rice. Then I add the onions. You got your trinity, which is your onion, bell pepper, celery. Oh, I doubled the batch. So um, I put two sticks of butter, of course. Actually, I buy the box shrimp. I add the green peppers and the celery. Put some andouille sauces. I got to make this really good. So I read a lot. So I'm reading a lot of John Best recipes. Oh, chicken. God's extra ingredient. They put it in garlic. We like a lot of garlic. I was raised on it with white beans. Two cans of Rotel tomatoes. Two cans of um, chicken broth. You know, season it with Tony's, salt, pepper, cayenne. And people fix it different ways. They put different things in it, but it's always good. TV goes off. Everybody sits down together. It's a pretty big hit in my house when people come over. The people don't eat jambalaya in restaurants, they eat them at home. You know, this is the dish that really identifies Louisiana. This is it. And so this, if I'm going somewhere, I'm, uh, I'm taking my food with me. I'm taking my culture with me. It's a commitment. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You don't make this, and this isn't your um, 15 minute or less meal. Right. This is something that takes a commitment, and that's why it's so good. You have all these different cultures coming together in one pot. Everybody cooks here. Yeah, yeah. In South Louisiana, that's you know that's one of the things that um, that's the reason why we have we've retained this great culture. And I like to think New Orleans is probably the only indigenous urban cuisine left in America today. Now, what do you mean by that, indigenous urban cuisine? They, they, we have regional foods, uh -huh. regional styles of cooking, but how many cities have their quintessential where they own that style of cooking. You can go in any New Orleans restaurant, open up a menu, and you know exactly where you are. I love traveling. I uh -huh. was born with Wanderlust. My parents are, were um, avid travelers. And so for me, getting out there and seeing new and different things, just it, it has to happen. That kind of keeps me going. Eating is part of it, right? And right. eating is, is most of it, I'd say. It's only food. This isn't brain surgery, and so right. at the end of the day, even your best attempts will be really appreciated by anybody around you. I cook for my children. I'm in passing on all this good stuff, a wealth of information, and I'm really passing on love. You know, this is, mm -hmm. I, the reason why I cook is to make people happy. I think the quintessential reason is because I want to make people happy. And to do that through food, and to do that at our, at our house with Jennifer and the boys, there's nothing, Nothing tops that. that. That's as good as it gets.